Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video. So in this video, you can see installing Kali Linux and Windows on same hard drive, meaning a dual boot. So download the Kali Linux ISO and Win32 disk imager and place it on your desktop. So now connect to a pen drive and uh, format it as a thread 32. Once the pen drive is formatted, now you have to open the Win32 disk imager. Now you have to allocate for the uh, Linux ISO. Select the ISO image and click open. Now click on a write on your pin uh, to disk imager to start a writing on your pen drive. So this process will gonna be a take us some time, so I'm gonna be fast forwarding for you. Once it's done, right click on a start button and choose run. Here type CMD. Once the command prompt is open, you have to type a disk MGMT. It stands for a disk management. When you see this dialog, we need to create a partition in order to install the Kali Linux. So I'm gonna be use a C drive to shrink volume. I recommend you to uh, locate the space at least at 40 GB or higher. So in this case, I'm going to be using 200 GB. Click on shrink. Now you can see an unallocated at 200 GB partition, which is where we're going to install the Kali Linux on it. Now restart your computer. Make sure we have connected your bootable drive. Now when the computer is turned on, it will directly boot into a Kali Linux setup. When you see this setup, scroll down to the bottom and choose graphical install and press enter. Now you can see a Kali Linux and welcome screen. Choose your language, location, and your keyboard language. When you see this page, you have to choose your host. In this case, I'm going to type Linux. Click continue. Now, this is this step and click on continue again. Now, you have to set up a root password. Since the username is a root, you have to set a password for that. Then click continue. Now, it will be taken to the uh, partition page. Now, choose manual. Click on continue and there you can see the free space that we allocated in our windows. Click on free space and click continue. Now we have to create a partition. First we can create a slash boot partition where we can install the boot module for Kali Linux. I recommend you to create a 1 or 2 GB. I'm going to use a 2 GB box. Click on continue. Choose a large port. Now at the null point you have to double click and choose a slash boot. Then continue. Now click on the down setting of the partition and click continue. Now you can see the slash boot is added. So make sure you have to remember the uh, partition numbers. In this case, is five. Now click on free space again and click on continue to create a slash partition. Now I recommend you to create at least a 15 GB or higher for slash partition. In this case, I'm going to use a 80 GB. Click 
click continue and I choose logical and choose beginning click continue so now the mount line make sure you have leave it as a slash and done setting the partition now you can see the slash partition is added and this AD data box of free space now you click on the gain of free space to create a slash on the partition I recommend you to upgrade the place of 1GB or higher for slash clone partition which is where we can be working to with logical beginning and continue. Now as you can see the mount file is automatically detected as slash on and this is done setting of the partition and continue. Now you have see you can see the three partition is successfully created. So final partition to create by as a slot area. Click on free space and create new partition and use a 2GB or higher for swap area. Choose logical, beginning, and continue. Now double click on use as and you can click on the swap area and choose continue. Now done setting up the partition and click on again continue. That's it, we have created the four partition and we had to go and install the color mix. Make sure you have to remember the slash boot the partition number. So in this case it's a like fifth. Click on the finish partition icon and create changes to disk and click continue. And choose S to write the partition changes. Now you can see the partition file of this group partition. So click on S and click continue. Now the system will be install the Linux on your hard drive and it will be take a some time and I'm gonna be back with you. Once you see this page you have to discard it as clicking the no and just continue. Now you're going to see the extract bootloader page. Since we are using a master bootloader, we don't need longer to install the extract bootloader. Choose no. And click continue. So choose enter device manual. So we have to type uh, the partition number. In this case, it's Dropper will be installed into the slash boot partition and it will be taken some time so it will also be finish the installation process. Once you see this message, make sure you have to take out your USB drive. Click on continue. And the system will be reboot to back to the windows. Once your system is booted back to the windows, download and install a easy BSD on your computer. The links are in the description. Now open the easy BSD by double click on it. Now you can see by clicking the head menu. You can see Windows 10 is only added to the bootable list. So now choose add new entry. Choose Linux slash BSD and choose the type as a drop to. I'm going to begin with as a Kali Linux. Choose a drive as automatically located and boot and click on add entry. This will going to be create an entry in the master boot record so that the master boot record can find the Kali Linux and going to be able to boot. Now click on save settings and close it. Now restart your computer. Now you can see the uh, two options, you can either boot into a Windows 10 or Kali Linux. Now I'm going to choose a Kali Linux to boot directly into. When you 
see the login screen, choose username as your root, click next. Type your password. Now you have successfully installed all the units on your computer. So I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe for more videos like this. Bye bye.